Welcome to 10.3 Operations with Radicals or Radical Expressions. Vocabulary is like radicals. These are radicals that have the same radicand. And so basically they have to have the same number inside the radical. Just like we had to have like denominators when we added and subtracted fractions. We had to have, sorry, just like we had to have like denominators when we added and subtracted radicals, we have to have the same radical, same number underneath the radicand, so underneath the square root symbol. Um, unlike radica radicals are radicals with different radicands. When we see those, we'll have to get them into like radicals. It'll make sense, I promise. So the first one, simplify 7 radical 10 minus 2 radical 10. These would be considered like radicals because they have the same number inside the radical. That means I could add them. So if you have 7 radicals, radical 10s, minus 2 of them, how many do you have left? Well, 7 minus 2 is 5. Five what? Five radical tens. This is how I want you to think of this. Think of this as 7x minus 2x. That would equal 5x's altogether. So five radical tens. Number two is an example of unlike radicals. It's because this is 45 and this is 2. So we're going to try to simplify them first using what we did in a previous lesson. So I'm looking at this radical 45, and I know, thinking of my perfect squares, which remember were 1, 4, Oops, that's 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, I don't know, 64, 81, dot, dot, dot. So looking at this, thinking about 45, no, no, does not go into 45, does not go into 45, but 9 does. 9 times 5. So the square root of 9, well, this is a perfect square, so I'm going to pull that out. That's 3 but I still have this five on the inside. So this is when I took out and I got three. Plus, now this is three times square root of 20. There's a perfect square that goes in a 20. So starting on my list, 16 doesn't go in there, nine does not go in there, but four does. Four times five. What a coincidence, seen it, seen it, seen it. Kind of important. And then three times, well, what's the square root of four? Two. And then that square root of five is still in there. So I am looking at 3 radical 5 plus 3 times 2 is 6 radical 5. So if I have 3 radical 5s and I'm adding, sorry, and I'm adding 6 radical 5s, I'm going to get 9 radical 5s. And that is how we add. Um, mm -mm, let's keep it pushing. Let's look at multiplying. So remember the distributive property, kind of similar here. One thing from your previous lesson that I would like to remind you of is you can only multiply what's inside with what's in inside and what's outside with what is outside. So radical 3 times 12, that 12 is not in a radical, so it's just going to be 12 radical 3. Just like if I had um, x times 12, I would just say 12x. And then radical 3 times radical 15 well, these are both on the inside, so 3 times 15 is 45. And now you have to simplify this one, the same one that we've done in the previous lesson, So, or actually the previous problem. Minus, there's a perfect square that goes into 45. It's the same one that went into it earlier. 9 times 5. So I have 12 radical 3 minus the square root of 9 is 3, and then radical 5 is still in there. It would be lovely if now we could add these, but we can't because they're not alike. Okay, now here's a wonderful blast from your past. It's a wonderful review as well. I'm going to go ahead and use FOIL for this. So first, outer, inner, and last. You could also use a box to multiply if you prefer. Um, but looking at the first terms. Um, mm -mm, radical 5 times radical 20. That's first and first. I would get radical 100 because they're both inside, I can multiply them. Radical 5 times 3 is 3 radical 5. 2 times radical 20 is 2 radical 20. And then 2 times 3 is 6. If you have a hard time following this, it's probably because you struggled a little bit with foiling. So make sure you do me one favor and come see me if you need some help with the foiling. Um, so square root of 100. That's 10 plus 3 radical 5. I'm just going to go ahead and simplify anything that I can. No perfect squares here. Plus 2 times, now the square root of 20. I don't know it, but I do know that there's a perfect square that goes into it. So it would be 4 times 5. 
perfect square being 4, plus 6. Well, I like this. 10 plus 6. These are like terms, so I'm going to go ahead and write that as 16. And then plus 3 radical 5 plus perfect square is 4. What's the square root of 4? Well, the square root of 4 is 2 radical 5. I'm showing a lot of steps here on purpose. 3 radical 5 plus 2 times 2 is 4 radical 5. So 16. 3 radical 5 plus 4 radical 5. So that's going to be 7 radical 5s. And there you go. Now, if you had a hard time with that, I don't mind it whatsoever if you just want to go ahead and set up a box. So if you were going to do that, and I won't multiply it out for you though, um, you would have square root of 5 plus 2, and you'd have square root of 20 plus 3, and then you would just multiply. So square root of 20 times square root of 5, square root of 100. Square root of 20 times 2, square root of so on so on. So you'd get the same numbers that we had here, um, but you'd also just have to make sure that you simplified each box. Okay, do, 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 you have a special pattern here. A minus B squared is equal to A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. Okay, well, what's the A? Let's line them up. And then what's the B? You could use a box here. You can foil it out as well. Um, I'm just going to use a special pattern because I took the time to learn then. So A squared minus 2 a b plus b squared b being something i'm going to go ahead and fix that because i think it's going to bother a lot of us there we go all right so let's fill in what we know if you don't mind we know that the a in this case is six so when it says a squared i'm going to put six squared a six and then it says b so two a b and for this case my b is radical 7. So for the b, I'm putting radical 7. For the b, for b squared, I'm putting radical 7. Okay, now I'm going to simplify as best I can. So 6 squared is 36. 2 times 6 is what I can multiply there and get 12 radical 7. Can't multiply these now because this is inside, this is not. And then plus the square root of 7 squared. Well, I know radicals and squares cancel out, so I just have 7. One more step to do here. Like terms. 36 plus 7. Well, 36 plus 7, if you add those together, you will get 40-something. 40 43 minus 12 radical 7. There you go. Nice. All right, one more for you. Conjugates. Now... You actually have a little bit of experience with these already. Um, in your previous lesson, um, we had radical 5 in the denominator, and to get rid of it, we multiplied it by radical 5. When we had radical 2 in the denominator, we multiplied it by radical 2. It's because they're conjugates. Conjugates means that when you multiply two um, radical conjugates, then your result will not have a radical anymore, the radicand anymore. So when I multiply them, I should not have a radical anymore. Now, this is a special pattern as well, beautiful people. I know that we don't always remember them, though. So I'm going to tell you. This is what it is. It's a plus b times a minus b. And that equals a squared minus b squared. Notice there, I don't have a radical anymore. I'm going to prove it to you using FOIL, though, because I know some of you, know, you doubt a little bit. Um, doubting Thomas. Radical 3 times radical 3 is radical 9. Radical 3 times negative 2 is minus 2 radical 3. 2 times radical 3 is plus 2 radical 3. What a coincidence. And then 2 times negative 2 is minus 4. Well, these cancel out, because what's negative 2 plus 2? 0. So the square root of 9 is 3 minus 4, and that equals negative 1. Could I have done this using a special pattern? Heck yeah. Will I show you that? Yes. So if I'm looking at radical 3 plus 2, radical 3 minus 2, looking at this pattern, I should just have to square the first term, subtract the square of the second term. 
Well, these we know cancels out, so I have 3. Minus 2 squared is 4, so I get negative 1. But I just get a little bit quicker. Okay, let's try this one. The conjugate of this one, it's the same thing because I have two terms, except I'm going to have to do radical 7 plus radical 2. Radical 7 plus radical 2. Whatever I do to the denominator, I also have to do to the numerator. So for the numerator, not that bad. 3 times radical 7 is 3 radical 7. 3 times radical 2 is plus 2. Just kidding. 3 radical 2. That's a 3. And then the denominator. Um, I could do all this, and you are more than welcome to. But now that I've shown you, I feel like it's fine for us to use this. So I'm going to square the first term. Radical 7 squared minus radical 2 squared. All right, getting there. So that's 3 radical 7 minus 3 radical 2 over radical 7 squared. Remember the squares and the square root cancels out, so 7 cancel cancel minus 2. So 3 radical 7 minus 3 radical 2 and I get 5. Now, I'm going to invite you to press pause and try number 7 on your own. Press pause. Press pause. Space bar. Thank you. So if you didn't press pause before, you got to press it now so you can write all this down so that you can um, keep up to what I'm going to. You would be almost perfect if this is where you got. I'm going to show you one more step here um, to just take it to one more level. The next thing I'm going to have you do is... Oh, so looking at my work, I multiplied 4 minus radical 6 on both top and bottom. I distributed and got negative 8 plus 2 radical 6, and then 4 squared minus radical 6 squared. After all my simplification, this is what I ended up with. And now I'm looking at everything that's outside of the radicand. I'm looking at negative 8, 2, and 10, and I'm thinking, okay, what goes into all three of those numbers? What can I divide them all by? I can divide them all by 2. So when I do that, I have negative 4, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm going to put plus. I'm not going to write the 1 in front of the radical 6 because that's not a good look for me. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. And there you go. Thank you for much, so much for joining me, and have a great day.